Hello, this is Dr. Brian Cochran, and I want to talk to you for a couple minutes about uh, expectations. That's my word for the year, and one of the things that I realized in uh, doing business and doing ministry and in life that everyone has an expectation. Uh, if you are a owner and you have employees, you have an expectation of your employees to do a certain amount of work. The employees uh, have a certain expectation to get paid when they do services or get a that a boy, that a girl, when they do a job well done. In life, we all have expectations, and a lot of times we can't live up to them. And so, don't have, don't set your standards too high, that you're disappointed when uh, things don't happen. Because it, you know, more times than not, depending on the understanding of uh, the agreement that you have, or the understanding of your relationship that you have either with a, a B2B, which is business to business, or a customer to business, or vice versa, whatever the situation is, um, the expectation that you may have is different, or the understanding that a person may have will be different. I found um, in, in several cases, one in particular, I, was, I do public speaking, and I have a sound company, I do a bunch of different things, and um, I got hired to do a job, and there was an expectation automatically because they hired me to uh, speak um, and to, to work that I was supposed to sell tickets and that wasn't what the agreement was I don't have a problem we have a ticket service so we don't have a problem selling tickets but what you hired me for is for my expertise of understanding the business or whatever it was that I was hired for and if you want tickets sold what I what I normally do is you know um, I get paid for doing the service and then I don't have a problem sending it out to let people know you know my 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 customer base or my fan base, however you want to say it, I don't have a problem letting them know, but I don't want to be required to sell tickets in order for it to make the event happen. Or the assumption that um, I was supposed to you know, make sure tickets were sold when that was your expectation or that person's expectation. But my expectation is that you're hiring me based upon my expertise in a, in a given field and you see that value of what I bring to your event. And so because of that, you're hiring me. Um, so anyway, and, and so we had to get an understanding, and, and all you're getting get an understanding, so that way you're when you have an expectation of hiring someone or getting some work done or doing some work, that you make it clear what it is that you want a person to, what you're, you're the contract you to do, you make sure you let them know, give them a description of, of the work scope that you're going to be doing, and ask them what their expectations are before you say yes, because sometimes I found even in doing other things that, um, they were upset because they were expecting certain things that we never talked about and then I had a hard time collecting a check because of their expectation of why they hired me. So that's my tip for the day. And all you're getting, getting understanding, make sure your expectation um, is equal to the same one of the person that you're doing business with or dealing with. So that way the outcome comes for a you know, mutual beneficial benefit for both parties involved because you don't want that person to... Uh, you, you know, you want to have a good name, you want to uh, do great work, and you're doing great work. But again, the word for the day is expectation. So have a good one. God bless you. Talk to you soon. This is Brian Cochran. Talk to you later.